Hello everyone and welcome back to Witcher 3. We just rescued an elf from her burning home because apparently people are bastards, but that's a typical theme in The Witcher. We need a blacksmith, like pronto. Where are we going to find a blacksmith? Um, that's a good question because we are nowhere near anything that resembles a blacksmith. We can go to Hindhold. Um, that doesn't have any kind of blacksmith thing at all. Um, we can go to the Western Gate, which theoretically might have something, but hard to tell. It looks like just a grindstone armor bench. How about like an actual person who could do something for us? That's harder to say. Maybe in Mulberry Dale, but then again, last time we went to Mulberry Dale, they said, fuck you, I don't want to talk to you. They didn't actually say that, they just refused to talk to us. Um, who else would do it? I suppose Crow's Perch could be a thing. Yeah, I mean, I guess that means fast traveling, but we also need to do this, right? The spoils of war. Needs a strong word, but I want to. We also have a lot of missions. What missions do we have right now we can do? Destin Skellenage sounds, or Destination Skellenage sounds like suicide right now. What about secondary quests? Could do Fist of Fury. I mean, we're basically, we just need to defeat one more guy, whoever the hell he is. Sure, what the hell? Let's go defeat Smithy. Theoretically, that would be inside a town, right? Makes sense to me. Where would this town be? This town would be in at the crossroads. So not really a town. More or less. I mean, it is kind of a town. It has an innkeep that makes it a town, right? No, it's not a town unless it has a bookstore. That's my rule. It's my personal rule. It's my girlfriend's rule. It's, it's, it makes decent sense. If you don't have a bookstore, you're not a real town. You're just pretending. And that gets us into range of the Spoils of War. And then I guess that's sort of kind of in range of Crow's Perch. I mean, in range is starting to be, you know, take on more of a nebulous feel to it. What level was, has this hag? We can go up there and talk to him. Okay, are we near any kind of fast travel? We are not. So we need to go to some kind of fast travel thing. Oh, there are a lot of question marks over here. And theoretically another mission. All right, well, Roach is near us, right? Yeah, Roach is pretty close to us. So we'll go down to Hangman's Tree and then go to the end of the crossroads and beat up some guys. Where's Roach? There's Roach up there. Go beat up some guys and then um, see what the, where that takes us. Eventually, we're going to have to talk to Triss. It's going to have to happen. I don't really want to. I mean, Triss is nice and all. She's a decent person. Okay, get away from these wolves. Um, I mean, at least she didn't, you know, put a love spell on him like Yennefer did. So that's something. But it's still... I don't know. According to canon, um, Geralt and Triss do in fact end up together. That's how it works. Um, but I'm not going to tell you how that works or how that happened. Um, I totally passed it by, didn't I? I totally did. Where's the... There's a lot of wolves around here. That's Yeah, those are just dogs. Okay. Uh, what I want to do is go... Not look so at fast, this. Roach. The hell's the... Okay, there's the hang tree. That's normal. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. Okay, so hangman's tree. And then we go over here to the end of the crossroads. Beat up some guys. I don't know if there... There probably isn't a forge here, huh? That would probably be asking a little too much. Yeah, okay, let's go beat up this guy then. Whoever doesn't need to beat up Smithy, right? What about Looks like it's inside the tavern. The wenches from Bellows too. Um, yeah, lots of peasants in here. Yeah, it seems like this would be a really crowded spot for this to work. Okay. Also, just me or is a little too loud. Let's knock that down a notch. I said knock it down a notch. Like so. There we go. That's a, maybe a little better. All right, let's talk to this dude. What is it, Grey Boy? Grey Boy? Is that what she just called me? What is it, Grey Boy? Grey Boy. Best give Crow Perch a wide berth. Um, I can't give Crow Perch a wide berth though, because I already. What's new in the broad world? So tell me. Um, none of these guys want to talk to me. Village champion. A couple of contestants in here, but they're not really doing anything. There we go. 
just right for our tournament. He did. We got the almost same it's shirt. Chance to slap around some Mine's in better shape. Some coin for the pleasure. You in? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. Um, we'll go fifty this time. There. I'm ready to fight. Now remember, just go hard. Hear this. No blocks. Betting on the next brawl will begin in mere moments. The witcher will face Smithy. He'll pound his gob like he pounds hot iron ingots. Alright, let's do this. Dude, what the hell was that? You didn't even... You don't even have a chance, man. You don't have a chance. Yeah, you can block all you want, man. Doesn't matter. You can click my way to victory here. There we go. We got him. We got him. Almost opened the door and shoved him out. Not bad. Might be champion yet. If it's the reigning champion you seek, head to Crow's Perch and ask for the sergeant. Oh, that's right. We kind of wanted to beat up the sergeant, didn't we? Because he's being an ass. There we go. We got 100 crowns. That's pretty good. I think I just knock into me. Don't do that, man. Can we go with, like, the back way? Is that what this is? Sort of looks like the back way. Okay. Um, well, yeah, we kind of sort of need to go to Crow's Perch, right? Because we need to repair our stuff. So, yeah, we can do that. Um, might as well just fast travel to it. Although, I'm kind of tempted to pick up the Spoils of War thing. That's not terribly far. It just means taking the long way around. Alright, put the marker, like, right here. And we'll see if we can do that. So, we need to take the road north. Um, yeah, this road. Heard you can get food from the so, we'll do this men. and call Roach. There he is. All right, That's and then we'll it, go ahead and head over to, well, suppose we're first, then Crow's Perch. It's funny the guy told me stay away from Crow's Perch, and then it turns out, hey, you know the guy you need to defeat? He's totally there. Oh, well. Thanks for the totally useless bit of information you tried to give me earlier. Then. Just saying. Um, yeah, gallop the whole way, man. This is already going to be a long enough trip. Let's not just canter. There's a lot of bad guys around here. Did they all respawn? I did just reload my save, so it's possible that they've respawned. Wild Dog's just in the road now. Just in the road. Not even, like, pretending. At least the horse spear level is kept down by the blinders. I appreciate that. Okay, I think we're well outside the, the horse, or the, Move uh... It dog region all right swamp bent harbor okay sure um Whoa. you guys are crying why are you guys crying do i care why you're crying can i tell why you're crying i can't really tell why you would be crying so i'm gonna just leave you guys to your weepy ways and head on my way all right that's right i need to go across this bridge well we don't actually need to cross the bridge Really, the point Whoa, we want roach. is just in here somewhere. That is not what I wanted. I wanted the map. Yeah. Okay, granted, it's a little closer to the other side than this side, but that doesn't matter too much. We should probably go ahead and take the killer whale potion. So, inventory. I mean, I got a lot of shit. I need to sell all this stuff. Uh, killer whale potion right there. Go ahead and consume. Thank you. That makes us a little bit faster. And then we can dive in here. That was not so much a dive as a splash, but okay. And then come over here to wherever the hell this marker is. Yeah, there we go. And then we might as well dive. And hopefully, okay, level four drowners. That's not too bad. There's a lot of glowy bits around here. Oh, it's locked. It's fucking locked. Are you shitting me right now? Oh, I hate you so much. Okay, fine. We go towards the boat. Oh, don't don't even right now, okay? Just go. Just go. How do we not have the key for this? I thought we did have I thought we had the key for everything. I'm totally misremembering everything in the world, aren't I? Okay. Well, so much for that. I didn't realize it was fucking locked. I suppose I should have, in retrospect. Should I have? Should I have known that? 
I don't know. Anyway, um, that's right. We're gonna go. We were gonna go up to that, but we didn't. Too late now. Let's go to Crow's Perch. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and ride there. Roach, get over here, boy. There he is. Hey, Roach. Okay, so fucking locked. So that was a waste, unfortunately. But so it goes. We shall live. Somehow, we shall carry on. We have a lot of stuff to sell, and we have a decent amount of money, so... Actually, do we have a decent amount of money? I actually don't know how much money we have on us right now. My impression, for some reason, I don't know where I get this impression, is that we're somewhere around three or 400 crowns, which should be at least enough to repair our stuff. But I would think maybe we're going to be on that. I don't know. We'll see. Our stamina is almost gone, but we should be able to get there just in time. Maybe. Maybe it's farther away than I thought it was. Well, if the horse needs to rest, then the horse needs to rest. Let's not tire it out too much. Giddy up. It's just a small giddy up, not a fast giddy up. All right, yeah, definitely farther than I thought. But at least the drowners haven't gone and respawned, or the, not the drowners, the other ones, the, um, shoot, I forget who it was. You know what, we can just ride. They're not gonna stop us. For some reason, I always put my horse out there because, I don't know, I think they're gonna stop us, but they're not gonna stop us. They might ask us to not gallop through their town, but these guys don't care. These guys are totally fine with this galloping through their town. Uh, okay, we only kind of sort of ran over that kid. I'm sure it's totally fine. And let's see, the sergeant was up here, right? Yeah, fight the sergeant for the Velen title. Um, these are the guys I want. There's a... Yeah, there's a merchant right here. Quartermaster or whatever. at our little stockpile. Show me what you got. What do you got? Do you have anything good? Medium armor, plus five. Tempting. Tempting. I mean, my impression is medium armor is mostly just crap. But what do I know, you know? Um, what's this? You have Guardian Saddlebag. Is that better than what I'm currently using? I can't tell because I can't look to see. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, 30 versus 70. Absolutely. fucking lootly. Okay, we have 736. But that's okay, because we're going to be selling a bunch of stuff, so I don't mind buying a bunch of stuff here. Yeah, I'll buy your Nif Guardian saddlebags. Um, can we actually have both on at the same time? That's actually fantastic. I'm okay with that. Nif Guardian saddle is 50 stamina. The one we're currently using... Um, we don't currently have... Oh, no, that's right, because it counts as being in inventory, not on Roach for some stupid reason. Or maybe... It would be hilarious is if these aren't actually equipped. Is that possible? Is that possibly what's going on? Shit. Now I don't know. Horse blinders. 40 horses for your level versus 20. Okay, sure. We're going to be going through our money in quick order here. Oh, we don't have enough to get both of those. All right. Well, let's go ahead and sell the stuff we do have because this stuff is worse, right? That one's slightly better. Why did I trade that out? I don't remember. This one's worse, though. Go and sell that one off. Sell that one off. As long as these are worse, I'm okay with selling them off. We'll keep the better one. I don't remember why I switched it out. Oh, because I have a relic, don't I? I think because I have a relic. The hatchet's actually better here. Well, plus 19 is no joke. We'll keep that around, then. Okay, wait a minute. He sells crossbows and bolts, but I can't sell him crossbows and bolts? Excuse me? That is less stuff than I thought I had. Well, I can sell him all the armor, too. Um, yeah, we can do that. Because most of this armor is junk, right? The runes actually weigh anything? Eh, barely. What, three one-hundredths of a pound? That's nothing, man. That's totally fine with that. Totally fine with carrying that around until we don't really. Hey, don't we have a level... I thought we had a level 13 object. 
Um, I don't remember now. I could have sworn we did, but now I don't remember where it is. Could this be it? Well, if so, it's crap. So we should sell it, because it's worse off than what we're wearing. Even being medium armor, it's worse off than what we're wearing. So just junk that. Oh, and we have a bunch of this stuff. Is this what we're waiting for? Required level 8. No. This has got to be it. Yeah, required level 13. There we go. We're almost there. We're just one more quest, maybe? No, that's like 103 experience. We won't get that in a single quest. That's at least two quests. Okay, and can we sell everything? Looks like. Okay, now we can buy if Guardian Saddle and if Guardian Blinders. Yeah, I don't think those are being applied to our horse. I think they just live on our horse right now. Uh, do we want to sell him anything else? I'm so tempted to sell him this weapon just because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, the relic has more stuff on it. So, yeah, what the hell? Sell it. Sell this too. I mean, plus 19 is pretty good. But my sword's a relic, and this is not a relic hatchet. So, that's my excuse. All right, can't sell him anything in red. Oh, no, this is not in red. I could sell him this. Um, yeah. 146% attack power. That's no joke. But I think we have a crossbow in our stash. So I'm just going to sell it because carrying around two pounds at random seems like a waste. And this is almost three pounds. Can't sell him any of that. Could sell him this, but not gonna. Um... So the stuff on Roach, does that count as on our weight class? or You know what, I can sell them those blinders, so I'm not going to apply those. And I guess I'll sell them these saddlebags? Can I sell them the trophies? Do I want to get rid of any of these trophies? 5% bonus experience versus 5% bonus experience. So those are both the same. 5% bonus gold. Do I care about that? I mean, we're hurting a little for gold, but we're not going to get much gold after this anyway. 24 crowns? I mean, this is a primo trophy, man. You're ripping me off here. That's right, we can sell them books. you want to sell them books? And we're not going to get much for this, but we've already read all this stuff, and it's just taking up space. So let's go and sell them everything here we can sell. Why can't we sell this? What is this? Oh, it's a contract, which I probably need to turn in you know, to say, hey, this is the contract that I'm going to abide by. All right, so that isn't much, but at least I have a little bit more than he does. And we could sell him, like, these Andriga embryos, which I have no idea what they're used for. So here, you can have, like, five of those. Anything else I want to sell him? Drowner brains? I don't know. Ghoul's blood? I have no idea if I need any of this stuff. Right, I was going to look and see... Um, what was used for what? Necker heart? That just sounds grotesque. Um, I mean, we could... Dog towel is used in pretty much everything, so I'm not going to sell him that. Alchemist power? I don't even know if we need this. So here, you can have half of that. Uh, we have 814. If I can get to 1,000, I'd be pleased, but we're not going to do it that way. Not by selling things that are worth one freaking crown. Dwarven Spirit, we need. Molly Arrow, do we really need that much Molly Arrow? Probably not. I can tell you like 10 of those. Though, again, these are only worth one crown each, so they're not going to get me into the. into the Annals of History, I guess? I don't know what you want to call that. Annals of History? Probably Annals of History is how you're supposed to pronounce that. Otherwise, it just sounds dirty. Yeah, what the hell? We'll sell them all this stuff too, or at least 10 of them. How's that? And Necrophage Hide, sure, we'll sell you like seven of those, okay? So for like half. Okay, there we go. We got over a thousand. I'm good. Anything here we need to buy? You have any recipes? He has a third map. So we'll go ahead and buy that. I don't think we had a map piece otherwise. And other than that, he has a little bit of silver, some Gwent cards I don't care about. Um, what is this? Sulfur? Okay, kind of weird you have sulfur, but okay, whatever. All right, that's it. That's all I care about. Somehow See I leveled ya. up or something? What was that? 
Um, there was a weird sound there. I'd like to know what that was, but I don't know. Okay, so, yep, 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 saddlebags over here. Yeah, didn't actually apply them. Well, how long has that been going on? Since, like, day one, I think. So, what trophy do we have up there now? We have 5% bonus from experience in non-human. So, pretty much the same as this one and this one. So, all right. Nef Guardian saddlebags. There we go. And horse blinders. There we go. And saddle. There we go. Right, you know what? I could sell him this stuff, too. I don't know if he'll be able to buy it all, but we could try it. Um, hold up. You see that? It's like world map. No, hold on. Back up. There was something there. Oh, new items. Okay, just shows you new items. All right, that's weird, but okay. Um, so I'll talk to you again. Fancy a gander at our little stockpile. Sure, whatever. Show me what you got. And now I can go and sell him um, this. No, not this stuff. This stuff. No, not this stuff. What's this stuff? We need a sort. Give me a sort. I don't care what you sort of buy. I sort of buy. You know, pseudo random, whatever. Just do it. Price, sure, whatever. Um, so armor wasn't it. Wasn't that either. Oh, here we go. On Roach, okay. Yep, so, okay, he's only giving me 19 for that. And only 13 for that. So that is a total ripoff, just saying. Barely even worth the price of admission there. Did he weigh anything? A pound. Yeah, probably contributing to why I'm carrying 34 pounds around. Oh, right, and this stuff, which I wanted to reduce. Because right now, it's just junk that's weighing me down, but I need to turn it into crafting components. Right, 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 right. Plus the money itself, which is also heavy. See ya. But that I can just throw in my stash. All right, so where's the dwarf here? Yeah, there you are. How may I assist you? Dude, my silver weapons are corroding like hell. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Or we just look at your stock, sure. Um, do you have any good weapons? You have crap weapons, is what you have. How are all these weapons crap? Okay, well, they're total crap, so I don't want them. Um, so then, what I need you to do is go into repair, and just repair everything. 306 is highway robbery, but... What choice do I have? And then I want you to dismantle stuff here. So this is a quest item, right? Yeah. And so is that. So is that. That is not. All right. So yeah, go ahead and... Yeah, do that. Does this count as junk anymore? No, not as, that is now a crafting component. Okay, good. This is junk, though. Yeah, go ahead and do that. I'm going to run out of money. Just so you know. Just so you're aware that's going to happen. Crafting component. We're going to turn any junk, though, that we can into crafting components. But we're probably going to run out of cash. Fishing pole, which is junk. Pig hides, which are junk. Where did we even get pig hides? Anyone? Anyone remember where we got pig hides? I don't even... How? Probably out of some crate somewhere. That's my only possible explanation, I think. All right, bear hide, empty vials, which you get turned into glass, old sheepskin, rotten meat, skull, broken rake, talk about useless, cured draconid leather, not junk. So to reduce it would probably be a mistake. So I don't want to reduce anything that says crafting component because I don't know what we need it for so it stays but that should that didn't reduce our weight much at all actually that's disappointing but the rest of these are right right yeah they're already we go into over here i'm not here this one um ashes no fizz tech fizz tech do i not have that sorted here Um, under dismantle is what I want to look this under. Fizz tech. Fizz tech. 
Fizz fucking tech. Maybe he can't dismantle Fizz tech. Which means I should just sell it. Um, I don't see the Fizz tech pile in here. It looks like ashes, but it's not ashes. But it's not here either. So, yeah. Turns out we can't actually do anything with it. We can't sell it to him for some god-awful reason. Yeah, he just won't take it. It says it can be dismantled, but I guess that's their common blurb for random junk. Alright, well, I'm not going to worry about it too much. You can't do anything with it. You can't do anything with it. Um, is there anything I want you to buy from you? you have any good recipes? Parchment, which I don't care about. Lesser glyph. All right, this guy's the one who sells all the glyph diagrams. Yeah, I mean, do you fucking do, I guess? Some books, which I've already read. Maybe not care for your sword, but I'm not going to buy the book just so he can tell me about it. All right, that's a plus 15 armor. Um, the one I'm waiting for is less than that, isn't it? No, it's plus 17. Okay. Okay, so unless these are better, which they are not... And I'm not going to worry about it. That's better. Cavalry trousers. I suppose if we wanted to craft something, we could. Uh, Mountain Folk boots would be the next one I really want to make. Griffin boots, not so much. Medium weight gear. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that yet. We're going to have a Curious we're going to be building, so I'm not worried about that. Gauntlets. Assassin gauntlets? I think we're already wearing those, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, we are. Okay. No other better ones, so I'm not going to worry about that. Assassin's trousers. Slightly better than what we're wearing now. But again, not by much. Right, we could do the griffin trouser if we wanted to move up to medium armor. Does seem to be a little better in a lot of ways. 7% of resistance to damage from monsters just in general. That's pretty good. But, yeah, nothing for intensity of signs or resistance to bludgeoning damage. So, maybe not. Ursine trousers are heavy gear. Interesting. Okay. And then a bunch of runestones we can't do anything with right now. I'm not going to worry about any of it then. I mean, the griffin boots are really the only thing level 11 here, but it's medium armor. Don't want medium armor. Level 10 is actually worse. So, yeah, chest armor is where it's going to be. We don't actually have enough to do this. What do we need? A shirt. It starts with a shirt. Interesting. Okay. We don't have any shirts anymore. We sold it off. Um, I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, everything else is pretty junk. Yeah, we could make some assassin's trousers, but big deal, really? Yeah, don't worry about it. I've already repaired everything, right? Yes. Um, that's stuff that's equipped, which is fine. Um, stuff I can dismantle. I could dismantle, like, these stones. Get some infused dust. Or some silk. Apparently the glyphs are made out of, out of silk and infused dust. Who knew? Armor repair kits and a whole bunch of other stuff. But no. No, not going to do it. Alright, so these runes must weigh a hell of a lot. No, they don't, actually. What the hell's making me carry almost 30 pounds around with me? Alright, anyway. Let's go beat up the sergeant. So long. Because that's what we're here for, kind of. I mean, ostensibly we're here to just, you know, fix our equipment. But, I don't know why we had to go around like this, but... Okay. There we go. Where's the bookie? Bookie, the townsman. Want to talk to the bookie? I want to. I want to talk to the bookie though. Where's the Where's the bookie at? Peasant. Peasant. This guy. It's got to be this guy. I'm ready. Huh? Look who we have here. All right. I mean, we could try saying what the Baron would think. Baron's gone, but seems business is booming. Folk are more eager than ever to see the men go at it. Um, there's a couple of different levels of innuendo there, but okay, sure. All right, I'm gonna bet another fifty. 
actually, fuck it. Let's go for it, man. We want to win, right? Let's bet on ourselves for 80. Let's go for it. Let's start. All right. Come to daddy. Um, that's kind of disturbing, too, but okay. I don't know if this will work. Just got to go the hard route there. Dude, he is not putting up a good defense at all. He's just going to go down. He's going to go down hard. There we go. Just don't give up. Just punch him all to hell. What a fight! Let it be known by one and all that the Witcher has defeated the sergeant and become champion of all Velen. If you've not had your fill, you'll find worthy pugilists elsewhere. Plenty of them in Novigrad. Plenty in the Skelliger Isles. Alright, so pretty much every region is going to have one. Okay. Got 160 crowns. Good with that. We're obviously going to save now, so we never have to do that again. Um, so where are we going to go next? Uh, that is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to hit the map. There we go. Alright, what's next? Find a boat, head to Skellige. That will kill me. Just straight up. That will kill me. So let's not do that. Pyres of Novigrad, I guess. Yeah, let's go find Triss. I mean, I realize there's other quests we can do. But we need to make sure that we don't out-level Triss's mission here. And we pretty much got everything else. Oh, the cat school gear would be pretty good. That's the light... Isn't that the light armor? We're not going to be able to get it yet, though. That's like five levels above us. Volunteer could work. Yeah, volunteer will work. All right, but let's go to Pyres of Novigrad first. Visit Triss. Deal with that. Yeah, sure enough, we're going to require at least one more quest. It's okay. Yeah, all right. Pyres of Novigrad it is. It's going to require us to use fast travel, no doubt. Yeah, it's inside a town we've never been inside before. Oh, right. We need to drop off stuff in our stash in where we're at now. So let's do that first. Before I forget. And then we'll fast travel where? Right, there's no fast travel up there because I haven't explored it yet. That makes sense. Um, nearest fast travel to it is Hangman's Tree, I guess. All right. Um, right, this bridge is out, right? No, that bridge is out. That bridge is out over there. This bridge probably works fine. This bridge would also work and has the bonus of having an undiscovered location on it. So maybe we'll do that instead. All right. It's going to take us a little while to get there. That is acceptable. Let's go into the Baron's house and put away some of our stuff, which is over this way. There were steps somewhere. It is getting dark. I suppose I should meditate into the daytime. Dude, Sergeant, I beat your ass. That means I get to push you around, okay? That's how it works. All right, I got tired of pushing you around. That's my excuse. All right, stash time. Where are we going to put in our stash? Well, all the florins and all the foreign currency, really. So that's all this stuff and all this stuff. Um, a lot of fizz tech. Ashes, which are junk, which for some reason I couldn't do anything with. That's strange. A little under half a pound. That's a hell of a lot, though. Um, so these things I can't use yet, right? This requires level 16. We're nowhere near. Level 13. That'll be pretty close. They're plus 32 damage. Yeah, okay. And we're pretty close to it. There's no reason to go back to our... Well, no, actually. We're going to a town where we're going to be like right next to our stash. So why not? Just wait. Just wait. The glyphs? I mean, yeah, sure, what the hell. Put the glyphs in here. As far as I know, there's unlimited... Um, storage in our stash so there is not unfortunately unlimited storage for anything else we're going to drop all the crossbows to or crossbow bolts come on man, move everything over there you go all these two I can't apparently sell those that did not reduce a lot of the weight this weighs what 2.65 pounds so what about the other 22 pounds the hell am I carrying? It's got to be all the food, right? Food doesn't weigh anything. Okay, so not all the food. It can't be the quest items, because the quest items don't weigh anything either. The other items, maybe? 
I just don't weigh much either. I mean, glass weighs a bit. I didn't realize glass is a junk item. And it can't be alchemy items, because those are all weightless as well. So it's got to be the stuff I'm carrying on me. Like, the actual stuff, not on my inventory, that I'm actually carrying. Okay. Did not realize. Theoretically, though, I should be able to drop some stuff on a roach, right? Is that how that works? Can I do that? Can I go on, like, this side and say, hey, dump this stuff on a roach? I guess only the food items, huh? Which doesn't matter because they're all weightless anyway. I really don't understand. Oh, no, wait. 24 of 130. Technically, we are sharing with the roach because we have the saddlebags. That's what it is. Because that added plus 70. If I take those away, it goes down to 60. Yep. Okay. Okay. I guess that makes sense. World map. Show me where I am right now. Crow's Perch is where I want to go to that fast travel thing, and then we'll go up to Hangman's tree and deal with that. Where the heck? <laughs> oh, there's my horse. Um. Okay, we have decked out our horse in a way I didn't even realize. I guess we do have Nifgardians, saddlebags, blinders, and saddle. So, yeah. Roach is now decked. Way to go, Roach. All right. And theoretically, you should be better off with a lot of things now. You should be... Okay. Move it. I want to just go around here, okay? There we go. Now we're right through here. Okay. And we'll fast travel to Hangman's Tree, which I don't know if that'll take us to the next day or close enough to the next day. Oh. Keep pushing that kid away. But, dude, he's playing right in the middle of the road, okay? You don't do that. Okay, you do not play in the middle of the road. Come closer. Don't be shy. I mean, I realize there's a lot of room in the middle of the road, and, you know, I used to do that as a kid, too. But we also used to have somebody, you know, to call out car whenever a car was coming, so we'd, you know, move the fuck out of the way. Just saying. Alright, fast travel here. We want to go as close as we can get, which is not going to be very close. So all the way down here to Hangman Street. Okay. There's somebody behind us already. Probably wild dogs, if I had to guess. Because they do like throwing wild dogs around. Um, but I don't care, because that's in the opposite direction I want to go. So, where do I want to go? I want to go to this waypoint first. Probably not the fastest way to get there, but we are going to gradually get there, and hopefully that's not going to be something overleveled. There is also the hag right here. I'm assuming, I'm kind of remembering that's the hag. That might be a dragon, a dragonkin, but I think we could maybe handle a dragonkin. I might be talking out of my ass. Maybe we can't. Let's deal with that first. All right. Which is straight up that way. Um, let's take a minute here to meditate till four o'clock seems fine and then I think we're also going to take a minute to call in our horse okay here roach Oopsie daisy and let's go now we're probably not going to be able to follow a path the whole way because there isn't a path the whole way yep and sure enough we deviate pretty soon okay Nice that we have the GPS. There are, of course, mods to take care of all these HUD items so that you can concentrate more on, you know, the world around you. But I'm trying to make sure that I do that just by myself, you know? I mean, isn't this beautiful? You know, just ignore the mini-map in the corner. Isn't this gorgeous? Very pretty. Oh, okay, another soldier, probably enough guardian, hopefully. Otherwise, he'll recognize the standard. Whoops. I was too busy paying attention to how pretty things were and not paying enough attention to where the fuck I was going. Need to be able to divide my t my attention a little bit better than that. Now, why aren't I picking up a lot of these things on the side of the road? Because I don't know if I need them, and they're kind of just taking up space in my inventory. If we were walking, I would totally be picking these up as we go along, but walking is a slow way to go around right now. We're going to have to leave Roach behind in a little bit. 
probably as we approach the island, we're going to have to reconsider our options. And here we go. As we approach the bay here, we can get to a point where it's like, okay, well, now what? Okay, I remember being here before. Right, this was the site of a former battle. We go right up against the bay side, but we've never actually gone beyond this. And right about here is where we leave Roach behind. Okay, sorry Roach. I'm sure you will surreptitiously follow me wherever I go. So I'm okay with you just leaving you here. Um, I like to get out this. I cannot jump. Okay, there we go. There we go, that got us out. Probably following the path there was not the best idea in the world. Alright, so what can we expect? I don't know what we can expect, actually. Could be anything. Could be... Some Burbicane fruit. Could be some weird structure out here. And a weird icon on our map. That indicates the weird structure. I really don't know. Um, but now the marker went this way. So I guess we're going to go this way. Excuse me. This swamp is freaking driving me crazy already. Okay, what do we got? Witcher Sense. That is a monster nest of enormous proportions. Plus it's on fire. Anything maybe Neckers? I don't know, Neckers had the ability to have fire, but maybe. Uh, hidden treasure. This looks like it might be Neckers. Yep, these are totally Neckers. All right, this should be easy enough, assuming we don't let them overwhelm us. Remember, we want Igni here. And we can try to pull off a couple of these guys. Yeah, so they don't overwhelm us. Okay, there we go. Two down. Three down. Don't let them get around you. Oh. Four down? Yeah, there we go. Okay, five down. That's six, and that's seven. And that's it. Okay. That was easy. I mean, I got hurt more than I needed to be. That's for damn sure. But we lived, and they didn't, so that's why I call it easy victory. If we had lost a couple of times, then maybe I'd say that was a little bit harder than it should have been, but... No, I mean, they're just Neckers. Level 6 at that. Okay, this has got to be... I was going to say it's got to be their monster nest, but maybe not. No, just a bunch of dead bodies burning in a pile. Okay, that's not at all creepy. Um, Where the heck is the hidden treasure? Over here? Yep, there we go. Um, poor dead bloke right there. Treasure key and letter. Oh, if it's a, this is the treasure key for the freaking one we were just at, I'll be upset. Let's read it. Villard, you old bastard. I can where you drub up the coin to pay off your many debts. Or rather, I don't know where you can find the coin. That's what he actually meant to say there. Now, Blatherhead say those bogs ain't worth a muffled fart from a saggy sow, but don't you believe him, mate? They dinna can shit from sugar. A man can make a kill in there, and a dwarf can do twice as good, I'm sure. So here's the crake. While crossing Velen for a week or so past, I spied a few well-dressed stiffs laying about the forest. Travel bag is untouched. Refugees see fleeing the foreign. Whoever flies up to them first gets all their worldly belongings. Can what I'm saying, Met? Grab a chest, head off to the Pontar post-haste, and strip those stiffs of rings, necklaces, and everything else before some nimbler prick does. Oh, but keep a sharp axe around your belt all the while, for Velen's per heaven with the monsters. But hey, it's all in the name of a good cause. Fill in your pockets. Oh, okay, there you go. And the third map, as per Professor Armstein's instructions, I will not be conducting further exploration of the site where I discovered pitchgrams related to the Cat School Witchers. Pitchgrams are identical to the ones which the Professor found in the caverns underneath Temple Isle. Okay. Thing has been due for coin. Which is in this general area. Okay. And also scavenger hunt for, yeah. The upgrade diagrams, which we're totally going to do. Okay, what is this? Just a red mark, which I apparently can't investigate. But it does not bode well. Okay, it looks like just tracks. Which lead me here. And then up a bit. 
Okay, you know, let's just set myself on fire. Let's do that. Um, Burbicane fruit. I mean, there's red marks fucking everywhere, man. What the hell is this supposed to mean? And, of course, there's more spot for uh, honeycomb, which did not work. Come on, man. Oh, because I pointed in the wrong direction? There we go. Okay, and that's also a spot to get some honeycomb. There we go. I sure just burn all the bees. Not like, you know, bees are starting to become an endangered species or anything. That'd be crazy talk. Alright, where the hell am I supposed to go here? A lot of red tracks should indicate what? Okay, the red mark has got to be pointing them, pointing me to where they were, or where they're going, rather. Right? I don't know, man. I can't discern these tracks at all. And they kind of just dissipate. Yeah, so, okay. Started there. So then going this way. I suppose. Keep going. I mean, these are all the Neckers I killed. So, you know. Not following my own tracks, I hope. That'd be kind of crazy. Okay, there we go. Tracker's trouser, hunting boots, white wolf hide. All right. So apparently they did reach all their wonderful little treasures and put them all in a nice one little spot for me to gather up. That was nice of them. Well, not what they meant to do, but nevertheless, that was nice of them. All right. I'm going to go to this question mark, even though it's questionable. I can't go straight there. I'm going to have to go all the way up and around, assuming I can actually walk that little isthmus there. Maybe. Maybe. Let's try it. Uh, we should be able to follow the GPS and that'll tell us where we want to go. I'm pretty sure we can just follow the coastline to our... Just keep it on our left. We should be totally fine. That did not work. That did not work at all. Because I have a different definition of the word coastline, apparently. Okay, well, this looks like a very well-defended position for some reason. Hopefully not defended against me, because I will take a front of that. These could be bandits, or they could be just regular soldiers trying to make a living. So it's not attack until we're attacked. No, we're about to be attacked. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to be. I wanted to be nice. But we can't be nice. Which fucker? I mean, I guess that's technically true. I mean, both Triss and Yennefer are both witches. That, it cannot be denied, so it's really not an insult so much as just a statement of fact. Alright, more Florins. Why do these guys have foreign currency? Can we talk about that for a minute? Usually that's a sign that the um, the current currency that's going around is not worth a stack of beans. But it seems to be pretty decent. I mean, it seems to be, you know, functional in the realm... I mean, we're getting totally um, taken advantage of in terms of prices, but I can only assume that's because we're not as nearly good negotiators as the other guys. This is Erston, huh? Man, this swamp. It's probably my get off the road, right? Get off the road, you get into a swamp, and then you have to jump your way out. There's a couple of dudes here, but they look like they could be friendly soldiers. Yeah, what the hell? Grab the Burbicane fruit. I'm in here anyway. There we go. Loot the axe head. Why not? Okay, Nifgardian soldiers. Yeah. I mean, I'm not exactly on super friendly terms with you guys, but decent. And then you guys have this all gated off for some reason. Okay. <laughs> Apparently almost drown me as I go into a sinkhole here. How do I get it? How do I get out of a sinkhole? I want to get out of the sinkhole, though. There we go. Okay. That was dumb. Alright. Monster nest. What kind of monster are we talking about here? Right, so it's a monster, so that's silver sword, definitely. What do we got? A bunch of them, so probably not going to be a draconid or anything like that. But my guess would be... My guess would be Neckers, really. 
What else would be in the area? Um, oh, rot fiends. Yeah, okay, rot fiends are definitely a thing. Um, these guys are only level 6, though. We can just set them on fire. And, of course, make sure you back up when they're about to do that. Alright, one rot feed down. We have, what, three left? I didn't take a hit, so I'm good so far. Come on, guys. Alright, distract his friend. Go away, and then he blows up near them, and then they blow up. Yeah, I could not have done that better if I had planned it. I'm totally gonna take credit for planning it that way. Nest needs to be destroyed. Absolutely, fucking Lily, we're gonna destroy this. Bombs away. Oh, the devourer didn't like that. He took a little bit of fire damage from that. We got level 13. The devourer does not blow up, unfortunately. Oh yes, he does. Yes, he does. He poisoned us too. Um, I'd like not for that, not for this to die. Okay, we didn't die. R is not what I wanted there. I wanted Axie, actually, but nevertheless. Um, here, drink some water. Have some fruit. Probably should not have done that one after the other like that, but still. I totally forgot that he blew up in poison. I'm going to have to remember that. Because blowing up in poison is not a fun thing for me to be in the middle of. All right, mostly just junk that I can turn into crafting materials. Rubicane fruit. Where's this guy's corpse at? Yeah, you. Okay, sure. Rot fiend blood. And one more guy here. There's another reason why I would never take away the mini map on me because I use it to find the corpses of these guys so I can loot them. I suppose I could just go into Witcher mode or Witcher senses, and that would do it too. Okay, well, that was done. Um, this could be a thing, assuming, of course, that I'll be actually to be able to get there. Get there, and not only get there, but also, you know, pick up whatever's there. I wasn't put my sword away. It's not going to help me in the middle of the ocean anyway. Alright, yeah, it looks like just some random bits over there. I thought for a second I saw a harpy, but no, there's just seagulls. Okay, let's do this. Looks like some random guys over there. Could be soldiers, could be bandits. It's so hard to tell these days. Sometimes you can't even tell the difference. Alright, we're, looks like we're headed towards that. Yeah, okay. Flow of the war. But looks like someone went and put it out in the middle of the ocean, like, on purpose. I can't tell if there's any bad guys around it, but it doesn't look like there are. And it looks like, in fact, they're all just floating on the surface. Okay. Weird. But nothing I can actually take here. There is a drowner, like, nearby. I know you're there, dude. Yep, there you are. Okay, go into Witcher Senses mode. What do we got? Uh, we got a drowner following us, that's for damn sure. And a chest, which we will loot. Silverton Sword. Hopefully decent. Um... Go and drink some water, which is kind of funny to do underwater. Drowner is totally going to ignore me below a certain depth, and I don't have anything else down here that I want. So we want to go back this way. Try to move quickly. So the Drowner doesn't, you know, suspect. He's going to try to get me again. I don't know if he's actually going to do it or not. Nope, he totally lost interest. Okay, works for me. Okay, so let's look at the Silverton Sword and see if that's actually anything we want to keep. Silverton Sword's got to be that one. It has exactly the same damage. It's just in slightly worse condition. No, that can't be right. No. 212. Yeah, it's actually far... Oh, the Steel Sword. Yeah, it is a relic. No, it's not. It's not a relic. Never mind. It's just magic. Just magic. Yeah, it's just magical. You know, not all that important. Okay. Where else in the world map do we want to go here? A lot of boats around. Which I guess is good for taking that location. Sure, what the hell? We got a boat right there. Let's do it, man. 
Let's do it. Don't even think about it. Just do it. Well, we should probably think about it a little bit. You know, if we don't think about it at all. That's like recipe for disaster. Failure to plan is the plan to get killed. So we don't want any of that. If I can go through the whole game without any more deaths, well, that's probably an indication that we need to boost up the difficulty, to tell the truth. So, you know, somewhere in the middle, though, we need to have a minimum number of deaths, but still feel challenged. That's a difficult line to walk there. Okay, so somewhere on one of these islands is what that question mark. We'll go ahead and navigate between them, because what the hell, it should be deep enough to accept that. If not, then our boat will take damage. Hidden treasure is what it says there. Got a couple of drowners, which is not surprising. Level 10 drowners, okay. Okay, we can deal with that. Um, maybe go around the island a little bit here. Uh, maybe that looked like level 15 there for a second. What was level 15? Muck Nixer. I don't remember Muck Nixer. Looks like there's two of them. And they're all tightly packed around this island. Holy shit. Okay, this is going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I won't deny it. Um, if we can get these guys to come towards us, that would help. I don't remember what a Muck Snicker is. We'll, we'll find out when we attack. Igni, please. Don't want to go too close, though. If I can just drag these guys around, that'd be ideal. Okay, Muck Nixer is apparently next. Okay, that's a lot of guys. Okay, you're all on fire. I hope you appreciate that. I appreciate it. Probably should have taken my advantage there while I could have. Okay, Muck Nixer's two of them down, I think. We still have a lot of them left. I guess the Muck are just variants of Drowners. Oh, sword set them on fire. Appreciate that. Okay, we took a little damage there, but not too bad. Set them on fire again. Drowners down. Drowners down, yes. Drink. Muck Nixer is away. Okay. That's not all of them yet, though. One more. One more. Where are you? Okay, just a Drowner. No worries. Come on, Drowner. Do you not even see me? And I'll crit you from behind. That's what needs to happen. There we go. Not too bad at all, actually. Didn't leave any loot, though, so fuck you, I guess. Okay. Alright, I'm assuming Muxnixer is just a variant of Drowner. I just haven't seen them before. I don't remember them. Probably shouldn't walk down steep hills with your sword out. That seems like a great way to poke out your eye. Um, you know, just typical... Okay, sure, just go and swim around. Not what I actually wanted to do. What I want to do is go loot. Can I, can I get your loot, though? Your loot I got. But apparently I can't go up that way. There we go. Two more guys with loot is somewhere around here. There we go. One more guy, then. Where are you at? Where are you at? There it is. Okay, then we find the actual loot itself. Hidden treasure, whatever you want to call it. What do we got? A letter and two drinks. Collect the goods from the same crate as usual. If you get it to the drop-off on time, you get the full sum we agreed to. Get there no later than the week after we agreed to get half. If you're later than the week, you're dead. Don't worry, witnesses. If someone notices you kill them first, ask questions later. Well, I mean... All right, so now we have Coast of Rex. Somewhere in this range is a wreck or something we want. Like this. And if Guardian Longsword, and then probably we need to take no Killer Whale Potion, but maybe not. If we can just get this really quick. I mean, there's no Drowners down here, which is kind of surprising. Still haven't found everything. So yeah, there's a bunch of chests in this general vicinity then. That's cool. Um, an Exploding Barrel, which is less cool. I mean, not currently useful is what I really mean there. There is a drowner right ahead of us, so let's go up top. 
And I suppose we are at the top of the hour here, so I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been Witcher 3. I'm PC Universe. You're PC Universe 2. And we have to pay more drowners, so that's just how it goes. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time.